Good afternoon, FHS. My name is Nicola, and here are the announcements for March 10th. Today is National Mario Day. Here we go! <laughs> Students at FHS participated in the Great Canadian Geography Challenge in their social studies classes first and second semester. The 20 finalists attempted th the school level qualifier before March break. Congrats to Ben Todd Sweezy and Emma Purdy for their tie in third place and Avery Pond for second place. And the best of luck to our school champion, Hadrian Thiel, who will represent FHS at the Canadian Nationals in May. A special thanks goes to all social studies teachers for doing this challenge with their classes. Connecto is offering a Keys to Budgeting workshop on Friday, March 12th at 5 p.m. on Zoom. Students who are interested in participating must register by end of day tomorrow. Make sure to check out the FHS website if interested. Here is a message from the SRC about next week's activities. What is up FHS? My name is Drishnant, and my name is Not Relevant. And we're from your SRC. We're here to tell you about our next upcoming event, March Madness, happening next week. As a part of our Spirit Week, we'll be holding a lot of fun lunchtime activities and theme days. This week in the cafeteria, we'll be selling gold coin candy grams for you to buy for your friends, which will be delivered the week after. Along with that, we're also having a Munch Madness bracket where all of your favorite teachers will be ranking sweet and savory snacks. You'll also have the chance to fill out your own brackets and predict a winner. We'll be selling brackets next week, and the actual snack competition will be played the week after on the Daily Roar. As far as it goes for theme days and lunchtime activities, Monday and Tuesday of next week will be Jersey Day, along with a minute to win it game in the cafeteria. Wednesday, just for the A to L students, will be Leprechaun Day, so make sure to wear green. There will also be beanbag tossing in the cafeteria at lunchtime. And then Thursday and Friday will be Twin Day, along with a photo booth in the cafeteria. So, don't forget to buy gold coins this week, and remember to dress up next week. See ya. See ya. Concert band is back. Starting immediately, rehearsals will be on Mondays and Tuesdays after school in the TMT for that day's alphabetical group. Please see Mr. Woodcock with any questions you may have. The Games Club meeting place has been changed to room C54 during lunch on Thursdays and Fridays. Sewing Club is meeting after school in room D117 until 5 p.m. The FHS Orchestra meets after school today from 4.15 to 5.30 p.m. <laughs> the weight room is now open five days a week at lunch hour. Feel free to stop by. It's course selection season. Please enjoy the following videos provided by the English and Math departments. I would tell somebody who's thinking about taking this course to definitely take it. I definitely learned a lot more about feminism in general um, and about a lot more issues that I didn't previously know about uh, for coming to this class. This is a really important class to teach lots of people about feminism and to teach people about what's going on in the world. We did a lot of discussion and we listened to uh, a lot of people talk, we watched a lot of videos and we basically just consumed as much knowledge as we could to educationally talk about some issues in society. My favorite part of this class was definitely um, these social action projects. Uh, I think it was really awesome to give students kind of the chance to uh, take their own leads and um, try to improve the community. I really like the fact that we talk a lot. It's a safe space that you can say a lot about yourself and you can talk about your experiences. It really gives perspective and shape to everything that happens around us. Everybody should take this course, I think. I think it's really important to learn about these issues because um, they're important. I'm Miss Stewart. You may remember me from such films as the Power School videos. <laughs> anyway, I'm here to talk to you today about a course that you may or may not be interested in taking, but it's called Geometry 12.0. It's a local option course, uh, but it is designed for students who are interested in math and maybe a little bit more than just your traditional math classes. So it picks up where Foundations of Math 11.0 
uh, leaves off with the geometry aspects. So we look at a little bit of history of geometry. We look at uh, doing some proofs and those types of things, and then properties of the different shapes and all that type of thing. So if you are interested in math and looking for another course to take, then maybe Geometry 12.0 is for you. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. See you all on Friday.